Uh, this video I'm going to be talking about uh, editing the boot any file. That's boot.ini. Uh, it's a key file that Windows uses when it starts up. And it, you can make some changes to it if you need for whatever you're, uh, whatever you're looking for. Uh, the two main sections in it, uh, there's a bootloader section and an operating uh, system section. Uh, the bootloader section has like a timer so if you have a dual boot machine uh, one of your operating systems is going to be the default operating system and if you don't choose an operating system when you get to that screen after, when the timer runs out it's just automatically going to go to the default and you can change that and the operating system section it provides a list of the operating systems that can be loaded so, uh, it it's it seems intimidating to ch to edit it, but it's actually pretty simple. Uh, there's a hard way. Well, I think there's a hard way and an easy way. Uh, the hard way is you've got to go into Windows Explorer and you've got to show all the hidden files. You got to load the locate the boot any file. Uh, then you have to disable the read only attribute then you need to open notepad or some sort of text editor load the file into it make your alterations and then you go, need to go back and re-enable the read-only attribute or you can go to your start box hit your start button go to your search box type in msconfig and run it and here it is and then just go to the boot tab and as you can see here this isn't a dual boot machine this this one's running Vista for school I have a class on Vista so it's not a very good operating system but uh, actually I've had almost no pro problems with this uh, system running Vista uh, here you can see the timeout I can change the timeout like I was talking about earlier I can change it to 15 seconds, 2 minutes, whatever it is I'm looking for. Uh, let's say I had a dual boot machine where I had XP in Vista or Vista in 7 or XP in whatever. Whatever the two combinations were. Uh, I could. Uh, that's where I can make those changes. Uh, so that is a very... I think this is the... I mean, it's by far the easiest way to edit the boot any file and if I remember correctly uh, the boot any file is only on operating systems from Windows XP newer like X like 98 doesn't even have it I don't think and if it does I don't know how to access it but from XP on uh, the best way I think to do it is just to go into your system configuration MS config and click the boot tab and there you go editing the boot any file uh, for dummies